available to the standard Su-30SM. All Su-30 fighters produced after the 2000s have been manufactured at the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, with the second Su-30 production line at the Komsomolsk Amor aircraft plant having converted to producing the Su-35S. The Su-30SM's design was based on the Su-30MKI, which was developed for the Indian Air Force and entered service from 2002, but benefited from significant improvements to avionics, sensors and weaponry including access to the newer 37M air-to-air -air missile. Russia reportedly intends to offer the Su-30SM-2 upgrade package to operators of the same family of flanker jets, most notably India, Algeria and Malaysia but also potentially more recent clients such as Kazakhstan, Belarus and Armenia. The Russian military also plans to bring its fleet of over 100 Su-30SMs up to the SM-2 standard. The first order for an estimated 24 Su-30SM-2S was placed in August 2019 with both the Air Force and Navy expected to operate the new fighter class. Su-30SM-2S in the Navy will reportedly be deployed to Kaliningrad, one of Russia's most heavily fortified territories on the frontier with NATO, where they will replace aging Su-27s. It remains uncertain how many more Su-30s the Russian Defense Ministry plans to purchase, however, with numbers planned having increased greatly largely due to delays in beginning serial production of the new Su-57 fighter which entered service over five years behind schedule. The numbers built for domestic use are expected to depend largely on quantities of foreign orders and the extent domestic orders are needed to keep the Irkutsk plant's production line open. It is expected that all Su-30s produced in future will be Su-30SM-2S before production is finally closed later in the decade possibly as facilities convert to opening a second Su-57 production line. Top 5 Potential Clients for Russia's New Su-30SM-2 Super Sequoia Upgrade Package, From Vietnam to Algeria the Su-30 heavyweight fighter has been by far the most successful derivative of the Soviet Su-27 flanker air superiority platform on world export markets, with over 550 having been sold abroad and the Russian Air Force and Navy themselves having acquired close to 150 since 2009. The fighter adapted the Su-27 airframe to provide a much higher endurance, new avionics better suited to precision air-to-ground anti-shipping missions, and a second seat as its standard configuration to accommodate a weapons systems officer. The Su-30 was for over a decade in production in parallel at two factories, the plants at Irkutsk and Komsomolsk on Amor, the latter which ceased production at the end of the 2000s to begin manufacturing the more specialized Su-35 air superiority fighter. Irkutsk continues to produce advanced Su-30 variants which incorporate a range of technologies first developed for the Su-35 and Su-37 in the 1990s, providing far superiority capabilities for air-to-air -air combat than the original Su-30 including thrust vectoring engines. The Irkutsk family of Su-30s are all based on the, the Su-30 MKI developed for India, which first entered service in 2002, and includes the Su-30 MKM built for Malaysia, the Su-30 MKA built for Algeria, and the Su-30SM which the Russian Air Force began to acquire in the 2010s after belatedly gaining funds to acquire post-Soviet fighters. The Su-30SM has since been widely exported and has proven particularly popular among Soviet successor states, but in January 2022 was superseded by the entry into service of the newer Su-30 SM-2. While the Russian military is expected to acquire a few dozen newly built Su-30 SM-2 fighters, however, the new aircraft primarily represents an upgrade package for older Su-30 SMs all of which are to be brought up to this standard. The Su-30SM-2's primary improvement is its integration of the Su-35's AL-41 engine, which has 16% more thrust than the older AL-31 and allows the fighter to take off with a larger weapons payload, maneuver better and fly for longer periods due to its greater efficiency. The Su-30SM-2 also integrates a new radar although reports have conflicted retarding whether it is the Su-35's Urbacy or the less capable n 11 m Barzar, both of which provide the ability to use KH-59 standoff missiles and a range of new guided bombs.